All we do is try to work with communities to make space in those communities where artists from those communities can tell stories that are relevant to them. We choose different neighborhoods and different locations to perform in based on what are the stories we're trying to tell and who are we trying to engage in them. DC is this incredibly smart, dynamic, diverse city that refuses to be pigeonholed or nailed down to one discipline or one style or one aesthetic. And we're a company that performs in all musical styles. Here at the In Series, I have been active as a singer um, and also as a part of the Mary Caldwell Dawson Fellowship Program. The fellowship is this evolving program where artists will be able to come in, um, get to know other artists that have similar interests, um, but also develop their own programs and their own pathways. I'm hoping just to build more equity at large. As a young singer myself, it took a while to, to realize how sometimes the way the curriculum is set up, there's a lot of erasure that happens with classical music, um, and there's a lot of specificity, particularly around phenotypical attributes. So we sing songs about blonde hair, and about blue eyes, and about red hair, and about pale skin, and no one thinks how exclusionary that actually is. And the end series is kind of this guerrilla opera company where they take wild risks, they move from place to place, they do very daring repertoire. And I think those two ideas really congeal together to create something that can constantly evolve and can create this ecosystem that is supportive. I see that year after year these artists will get to know each other and get to know themselves and build relationships that will be strong and enduring. And these relationships will continue to nurture each other and will continue to grow. And I think that will help the operatic community and the musical community and artistic community at large.